beer whose journey started off as a homebrew to become a gold medal winning IPA. It's Bearer Clock and from the USA we have from Ballast Point we have a sculpting IPA coming in at 7% ABV. Now, big shout out actually for this beer. Um, it was my birthday last week, and uh, last weekend I popped into a little beer shop I use in Bury St Edmunds, buy a few beers and that. And uh, the owner, Rene, um, found out it was my birthday <laughs> during the week, and he gave me the, this bottle out of his personal collection. Um, behind the counter, he's got a little personal collection of. Um, beers that, um, uh, that he keeps for himself and uh, he gave me a bottle of this bottle as a, like a, a birthday gift so and I said to him well I'll give you a shout out on the channel um, that's, that's Rene from Beautiful Beers up in Bury St Edmunds he's got a website and that um, you can get all the beers from him really really good so thank you very much uh, Rene and um, let's see if we can enjoy this and give it a good review eh <laughs> so Right, a little bit about this 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 uh, this Ballast Point Brewing Company. Uh, they started off as home brewers, believe it or not, in 1992. Um, a shop opened in San Diego doing a home brew, and in 1996, they actually brewed and sold um, their first beer. And then it, it goes on and on, like, you know, um, 2005 was when this beer was invented by him. And basically it's, um, the beer had come about by combining two homebrew recipes together to produce this beer. And it become like a, a, a an overnight hit, basically. Um, and in in sort of 2010 was when they got their first award for it. In uh, they, they basically got the did the, the champion small brewery award at the at the World Beer Cup. Um, so it's sort of a, a it's a little bit of a fantastic story that you know these people have had a, like a passion for um, brewing this beer, and it's just gone from strength to strength. Um, they've got into the restaurant and brew, um, pub chain now. They're you know, sort of springing them up across America and that. So yeah, it's all good. So what we'll do is we'll we'll crack this open and we'll give it a try. I'm really looking forward to this actually. Um, You could say it's probably going to taste good because you, because of, because it's your birthday drink. You know what I mean? It's uh yeah. So it could be interesting. Let's got it cracked open. Let's let's get it in a glass. Look at that. It's a lovely hazy amber. There's a good carbonation there. A one nice one finger creamy head. It laces the glass, the lacing on that glass really, really well. Should we get the aromas? Whoa! My God! Where do I start? Where do I start? Well, the easiest one to pick out is lemon. Peaches, apricots, mango, lemon, ah. Oh. They actually hop, they hop this 
beer through five different stages and oh my word I've, I'm going to be honest here I've never smelt a beer like this before the, 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 the smell is immense now it's going to be interesting is this going to taste as good as it smells cheers I think I've just died and gone heaven. This is mm. this is a seriously good beer. It is bitter right the way through, which you you, you want to expect from an IPA. Um, the ABV is very good, you know, and even if you think about it, how IPAs come about, is IPAs, they hopped them up, which ramped up the, IP, um, the ABV, for the simple reason, India Pale Ale, they had to ship it from England to India, for the troops and the people that living under the, back in the days of the Raj, so, it annoys me when I see IPAs at like 3.5% and 4%, to me, that's not IPAs. Green King, sort your life out. 3.6% IPA, that's not an IPA. 7%, this is a IPA. How come the Americans are doing it? And big brewery companies in the UK aren't. You're mugging us off. 3.6% IPA, Green King. You're mugging us off, right? This is what an IPA should be. An IPA, in my opinion, should be 5.5% and above. That's my little rank going over anyway. So, going back to this, you're getting lemon peel, mango, Apricots, and I don't even like apricots. Uh, pineapple. There's a hint of grapefruit there. It's. M mango. It's, it's a very, very fruity beer. It really is. And it sits well in the mouth. It's very. Um, Smooth on the mouth, it's like silk dancing across your tongue. Really, really good. The bitterness is it's perfect. It's not overly bitter and it's not no sweetness there at all. Just this lovely sort of mild bitterness that's um, very acceptable to the palate. Um, this, is, this is a great beer. Um, I'm really happy you gave it to me. I'm really, that was a good pick, that one. Thank you very much, Rene. It was really, really good. If you like IPAs, seriously go out and get yourself a bottle of this um, and try it. You, you're going to be over the moon, you know. If you like this stuff that's coming out of vocation, I'll use them as an example here, who um, are putting, you know, they're, they're, they're producing IPAs at like 6.5%, that sort of thing, vocation brewery up in the Hebden Bridge, up in Yorkshire. If you like their beers, um, you are going to like this. There is no doubt about it. Um, whether or not Vocation use beers like this um, as examples to brew theirs, I don't know. Um, but this is oh, this is a cracking beer. This is...
Bodger Prots, a great beer reviewer. He's got a couple of books out there. 300 beers to die bef to try before you die, and 300 more beers to try before you die. I don't know if it's in there, in the book. If it's not, it should be. This is for all you listeners and people watching. All right, put this beer on your bucket list. This is the beer you 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 want to go on after watching this review. Go online, find out where you can get it from, and get yourself a bottle. That's how good this beer is. Um, you will not be disappointed. So go out there, buy a bottle, tell me what you think, leave a comment in the box, give us a thumbs up, hit that little bell, you know, that tells you every time I bring out a new uh, review, and as always, subscribe to the channel please, and as I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question, thank you for watching, good night.